Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to write a small Java program to find the first non-consecutive integer. For example, there is a given array. It will be containing a sequence of integers. We need to find out the first non-consecutive integer value. In this case, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 is missing. So the first non-consecutive integer value is 6. So we have to find out this 6 value and return the result. To achieve this, we are going to use Java 8 find first method. This method will return the first element from the stream and we are also going to use atomic integer. Let's see the code now. I have written the class called first non-consecutive and there is an integer array and there are three methods. One is using the traditional for loop, the next one using the stream and finally we are going to use atomic integer. The first method we are going to take the integer array and then start iterating one by one. Inside the for loop we are going to find out the difference between adjacent numbers. For example 1 minus 2 is equal to 1. If the difference is not equal to 1 that means it's not a consecutive number. So immediately print the number and then break from the for loop. In the second method we are going to use int stream dot range method. It's going to generate a sequence of numbers and then we are going to filter and we are going to filter our condition. So we are going to take the input number 1 2 3 and we are going to add plus 1. So we are going to create this number and we are going to take this as an input. So in our case the input number will have 6 but our created number will be 5 which is not equal. Then 6 will be considered as non-consecutive number. Finally, we are picking the first number from the stream, whichever satisfies this filter method. Find first method, it's going to return the first element from the stream. It's going to return an optional value. In the third method, we are going to create an atomic integer. What is an atomic integer? It is a wrapper to an integer. Atomic integer is coming from concurrent package. That means it's used for thread safe programming. For example, if a single variable is accessed by multiple threads, then we can use this atomic integer. And it also has multiple methods where we can use it. This section is exactly similar to the above. The only difference is we are going to use atomic integer to get the increment value. Again, we are using find first to get the first element from the stream, which satisfy this filter method and then print the result in the console. When I run this program, I'm able to see the first non-consecutive number as six. So all the three methods give me the same result. Please try out. Hope this video is useful. Thank you.